Regional Plant Quarantine Station, New Delhi, is functioning under Government of India, Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare. This building was inaugurated in the year 1998 by the then Union Cabinet Minister of State for Agriculture, Government of India. This station functions as per the Citizens Charter and maintains timeline as specified by the Government of India. Here are the mandates, mission and vision of this organization. This station is presently headed by the eminent entomologist Dr. D.C. Rajak, Joint Director, Entomology. He is the Head of Office and Controlling Officer for RTQS New Delhi and the substations under its jurisdiction. Namaskar and a warm welcome to Regional Plant Quarantine Station, New Delhi. Here we function under the Government of India, Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare. Our emphasis is prevention of bioinvasion of feline harmful organisms, that is various harmful insect pests, diseases, weed seeds, etc. in the agricultural system of our country. India is a member of International Plant Protection Convention, the international body of plant protection and the Joint Secretary Plant Protection is the National Plant Protection Officer of this country. The Directorate of Plant Protection, Quarantine and Storage was established in 1946 as an APEX organization headed by the Plant Protection Advisor to the Government of India for advising the Union Government of India and State Government on all the matter related to plant protection. Mandate of this organization is to prevent exotic pests from entering establishing and spreading in India in accordance with the provisions of the Destructive Insects and Pests Act 1914 through various wings such as PQ, IPM, CIB and RC, Locust and CIL. The plant protection network in India is spread all over the country and the protector of biosafety of our country. The officers and officials of this organization are posted across all points of entry through international borders, seaports, airports, etc. as vigilant sentry to combat the bioterrorism. The regional plant quarantine station at New Delhi is functioning since 1961 and caters the plant protection services in northern and north central India. Some services are being rendered by this station nationwide. This is an ISO certified institution and working with 100% online mode in issuance of phytosanitary certificates, import permits and import release orders. The pesticide residue analysis laboratory of this station is accredited by NABL system. This institution is situated on approximately 14,000 square meter area with well-equipped facilities where approximately 100 technical and non-technical staffs are engaged in the service. The campus of regional station is well-equipped office come laboratory building including sitting and working place for employees and stakeholders. Well-equipped plant pathology entomology, nematology, and weed science laboratories for studies on pests and pathogens. The MPRNL laboratory for the purpose of analyzing residue level in agricultural products. Separate export unit for facilitating and processing export phytosanitary certificates as per phytosanitary requirement of importing countries. Training hall with capacity of 60 seats for conducting various national and international trainings, hands-on trainings to the staff and stakeholders. Meeting hall with capacity up to 50 participants for organizing international and national meetings and events. Library at this station is having all sorts of technical referral publications. Glass house and poly house 
or post entry quarantine and grow out tests of planting material and staff quarter with amenities for residents of staff. Jurisdiction of this regional station ranges over seven states, namely Delhi, Uttar Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Haryana, Himachal Pradesh, Jammu and Kashmir, and Rajasthan. Seven plant quarantine stations, namely Lucknow, Varanasi, Banbasa, Gauri Fanta, Rupadiha, Badani, and Sonauli are functional under this regional station. There are many registered units under this office for export of various commodities, namely pack houses, rice mills, spice, warehouses. Accreditation of treatment providers such as NSPM 9, NSPM 22 and NSPM 12 are being controlled from this station. As per mandate of the union government for ease of doing business, this office is 24 into 7 functional wherever required. Plant quarantine information system, a web-based online portal, is the backbone of the entire PQ activities of this station. The process starts with registration of the stakeholder with our system, gradually follows the steps of plant quarantine certification procedures and ends up in issuance of phytosanitary certificate or import release order, as the case may be. With dedicated officers, officials, and supporting staff, we are always working towards expansion of pest-free export and safe import of agricultural commodities to and from the rest of the world. Entire activities of this station are conducted under threshold of the Citizens' Charter of India in this regard. This station regularly organizes stakeholders' meeting, hands-on training for staff and stakeholders, sensitization and awareness program for customs officials on update of plant quarantine regulations and legislations as and when required. Hard work and determined endeavor of our skilled officers and officials are always aiming at welfare of farmers and agriculture. Thus building of a self-reliant India with ensuring the biosafety of our beloved motherland. The administrative section, RPQ West New Delhi. Administrative section of RPQ West New Delhi looks after overall administrative, financial and establishment management work of this station and sub-station under its jurisdiction. In plant pathology laboratory, various quarantine and non-quarantine diseases are detected in the plants and plant products to be exported or imported through this station. As per PQ procedure, here we receive the sample after scrutiny and inspection. Like this, uh, a sample came along with the application. Here we mark their entry in different register. Then we detach the sample and keep it in the different in the respective tray and application in the next tray. And then these uh, sample will go for testing. After receiving the sample, we bring the samples to the culture lab to detect the presence of very various pathogens. Here we perform various experiments like uh, washing test, agar plate method, and blotter test. Here, Dr. Sadna is performing agar plate method. So, after plating the sample, we keep the sample for five to days of incubation for the detection of pathogen. Here we perform another method, blotter test, to detect the presence of any pathogen, like this. So here we keep the sample for 8 to 10 days in the incubator to detect the presence of uh, any pathogen. After 8 to 10 days of incubation, sample will be examined under magnoscope, stereoscope, and then in microscope. 
this is electron microscope used for virus detection. After examination, reporting will be done online at PQII site. In entomology laboratory, various quarantine and non-quarantine insect pests are detected in the plants and plant products to be exported or imported through this station. Welcome to entomology lab. So let's start from the first step that we do here is receiving of samples. So we receive the export and import samples of both propagation and consumptions from inspector. Samples that are collected by the inspector on the same day or the previous day after inspections are forwarded for laboratory testing. So as you can see here, each sample is appropriately packed and with all the details as per SOP. So after receiving all the samples, what we do is we do the entry in our respective registers and after that we do the testing of each and each samples. For testing we use this white enamel tray, this magnoscope and sieves of different pore size. So we pour the samples on sieve and shake it and if any interception is there, it will be visible on the white background of the enamel tray. And in case if any detection is there, we use this stereo microscope for the further identification of the pest. And after identifying the pest, we note it down our in our register and then accordingly we report it through our PQIS system according to the PQIS format. In this nematological section, what we do is we use this Behrman's funnel for the detection of nematodes present in the sample of soil, plant material and seeds. As you can see here, this is the chart showing the procedure of step-by-step -step extraction of nematode in seeds and in plant material. Weed Science Laboratory detects various quarantine and non-quarantine weed seeds in the plants and plant products to be exported or imported through this station. I am Dr. Disha, Senior Technical Officer, Weed Science Laboratory. In this lab, we do with different kind of uh, weed seed testing procedures for the import and export commodities. There are mainly three procedures which we follow in this lab. The first one is the magnoscopic examination. Second one is the separation process. Third one is the stereoscopic examination. And all this is done with the help of different equipments. So here, this is a magnoscope which is used for the magnoscopic examination. These are the different sieves which we use for the separation process and this is the stereoscope which is used for the identification purpose of V seed identifications. These are the different interceptions which are recorded at this station. Accreditation unit deals with registration and renewal of various treatment providers and fumigation agencies as per international and national standards. In this unit, assessment, audit and accreditation of different fumigation agencies and its operator is done under different NSPM that is 9, 12 and 22 and registration of chili warehouse for the export of dried chili. Besides, this unit also monitor peanut processing unit, mango pack house and rice mill data. This station has a dedicated export unit for making the PQ process and ease to the stakeholders. In export unit, we do the scrutiny of export application received online and through PQIS system. After receiving the application, we process it for further procedure as per export SOP. After completion of all process like inspection, laboratory test, if it is found correct in all respect, PSC issuing authority issues phytosanitary certificate. The Pesticide Residue Laboratory analyzes pesticide residue level in agricultural products. This is NABL Accredited Pesticide Residue Laboratory. We are working for the project of monitoring of pesticide residue at national level. Using this kind of uh, sophisticated instrument, we are helpful to uh, introduce the, some pesticide residue in the different commodity. This is the sophisticated instrument, GC, MS and MS. This part is for MS, this is for GC. It is a basically separation technique which is useful to separate and identify the molecule. Thank you.